Hello everyone, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> and, uh... That's funny, tell another one. Yes. <laughs> so I've just moved back home, back from my uni flat, and I have got boxes upon boxes of books. <laughs> so basically I just thought we'd do a fun video of you accompanying me getting my bookshelves back in any kind of order. <laughs> Because they are in a bit of a mess. Yeah, lots of stuff just not in the rightful place. And because I am going to have to put quite a lot of books um, back in my bookshelves, like any books that I have read in the last five months need to be put on the bookshelves, we're going to have to do a lot of moving about because I organise by genre. So, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, Most of these uh, boxes are unread books, so we're going to tackle them last. The first thing that we need to tackle is basically these books. They are the books that I have read, so um, we need to get them back on shelves. There's also like loads of books not in the right place because my family borrowed them while I've been away, and obviously they don't know where things go. So let me. Oh my god, what should I do? I don't know. Let me take you around the bookshelves as they are right now. We'll chat about that and then we'll sort these books out. And all the and the vast majority of these books won't take us that long to sort out because they are just going to go on my back on my book cart. But the bookshelves are definitely going to require some rejigging. <laughs> Up here, this bit here is contemporaries. So I'm debating moving the contemporaries over to the other bookshelf and making this whole top shelf mystery thriller. I think that might be the first thing that I do. These are just, I told you there's those wayward books lying around that people have just borrowed. <laughs> then this is mystery thriller. Then this shelf is my favorite hardback shelf. I do want to move The Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter into one of these facing out positions. I think I'm going to take off the Night Circus, although I do love that cover. So on this shelf, we have got um, contemporaries, uh, contemporaries? We've got, <laughs> what's that? Um, I don't know. There's something that says in that tone of voice I was thinking of. I remembered what it is and it's. Back rolls. Oh, we've got graphic novels here, which I want to keep there, even though the rest of this shelf is gonna be like, fantasy and murder mysteries and like dark and horror and darker stuff i do like having this little bit of lightness because i think the other shelf is more like light hearted books but i do like having this here and i like how this looks when i'm filming to have these here because they're nice and colorful and then fantasy starts here and here this shelf apart from wilder girls um it's all kind of books that i am like i'm not very good at unhauling i am gonna have to do that at some point but these are all books that i'm not bothered about they're mostly books i read when i was like 13 so like eight years ago but they're books i don't want to unhaul yet which i probably will unhaul soon but for now we're gonna start doubling up fantasy in front of this so we're just gonna like cover all these books up and have it double stacked basically. Let's take you over to the other bookshelf. This top shelf is non-fiction. So that's probably gonna stay as it is. Hang on, that was in the wrong place. Let's put you here. And then on this shelf, we've got romance, then kind of like literary fiction, then a classic, and then magical realism and fabulism. Hardback um, thrillers, because they don't fit on that top shelf, which is fine. I'm happy with like some being over here. Um, and then we've got sci-fi. This is in the wrong place. The level of unprofessionalism, far too much. Let's go get all of my red books out and put them into their genres and kind of put them roughly where they need to go.
problem I have right now is I got rid of where like magical realism, fabulism, surrealism was on that shelf. There's not room for it over there and I want it to be higher up. I know it sounds stupid. <laughs> is that true? It's very true. But I like genres I like to be like high up on the shelves because that's what you see more. So I think I'm going to add that to opposite contemporary and we'll just make fantasy go a little bit lower basically. But first things first, we're gonna change and do up the thriller mystery shelf. What I think I wanna do, will this fit? I actually wanna do like a lying down stack. Please say you'll fit. Oh yeah, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We'll see what happens with that. I may unhaul a few, but I'm not good at unhauling, but I'm gonna try soon. But there's, to be fair, because it's my favorite genre, there's not many I wanna unhaul. The only change I wanna make to this shelf is taking the night circus off and putting in the strange case of the alchemist daughter, I think, yeah. But I also think I'm gonna take middle game off of here and put the night circus there. I love the Night Circus cover of the edition I have, but I feel like if I was to put it face out on a lower shelf, it would just be wasting room. I need to kind of maximize room until I get another bookshelf, really, but I don't really know when that's gonna happen. So for now, let's just have that like that. Right, this shelf's having a bit of a mare. <laughs> excuse, excuse me, excuse me, excuse <laughs> me. So first, oh shit, no. <gasps> I didn't put this on the mystery shelf. Let me put it down like that. We've got room for like a thin paperback up there. A friend has come to join us. Say hello, Lux. Lux, what's this? Wow, are you sniffing the microphone? That's nice. Look at my books, Lux. What do you think? Wow. Let's add in Heartstopper in its rightful place. Angels sing. Oh my god, she's so cute. Then I want to add in all of my like surrealism, uh, low fantasy. I actually want it to go here now. And then let's have a think about what fantasy I want on this shelf with this stuff. room here for a few more books which is good and this shelf is more full now okay okay so I just sorted this out so now we've still got sci-fi here and then um, like historical fiction here with a bit of room and then down here we've now got like literary general fiction here we've got like horror-ish stuff here and then my poetry stuff here okay so that is my bookshelves pretty much reorganized everything put into its rightful place I'm really happy with how they look actually some of the shelves in particular I'm really happy with so now <laughs> the big task really is to sort out all of my unread books now most of them are just gonna go on my book cart but what i actually want to do is separate out the ones that i have dedicated reading vlogs planned for which is quite a lot i have 
probably my videos planned up until like September. So there's a lot of books that I have allocated to dedicated reading vlogs. And so what I want to do is separate those out and kind of group them together um, just so I can visualise that and see which ones I have already dedicated videos to. So that's going to be a slow process. I'm going to go get a drink and then we'll start it. <laughs> I need a drink. separated out the books that need to be in secret reading vlogs I am just going to fill the book cut up with as many of the books as I can fit in I'll just have to shove the books that don't fit in here somewhere I'm gonna put 2021 new releases that I really want to read at the front and then just organize it kind of randomly from there That is all of my bookshelves and my book cart reorganized. I am so happy to be back with all of my books in one place. I did not manage, <laughs> I didn't manage to fit all of my um, unread books onto this cart and we're running out of room on the bookshelf. So it's not good, it's not looking good. <laughs> I lost the hope today, I'm in. I think in a couple of months I'm going to reorganise my room so I have less room for other things but more room for bookshelves. I think I'm going to like have them in the corner where my bed currently is, I'm not sure. But in a couple of months time we'll tackle that. But I am happy with all of my 2021 releases on this top shelf, they're really what I need to start prioritising because I not, have not read a lot of them and I was so excited for so many of them so I need to prioritise them but I'm also happy with my other shelves and the way they're looking, I think they all look really really cute so yeah let me know how you organise your bookshelves down in the comments, I would love to know, maybe I'll get a bit of inspiration for mine and yeah thank you so much for watching this video, I will see you very very soon in another one, bye!